Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do vocal correction with ImageLine's just recently released plugin, New Tone. And if you've ever used a software called Melodyne, it functions the same way. You basically adjust the pitch modulation on a note-to-note -note basis and I'll uh, go into detail when I get to that part now first of all let me say that I am not a singer and I don't sing but for the sake of the tutorial I have a recording of me making noise with my mouth or maybe singing anyway so here is just the raw, unedited sample. I'm singing for the tutorial. Yeah. So, I'm going to just drag this clip right into New Tone. And as you can see, it's mapped out the pitch and the notes that it detected that I was singing. Now, New Tone has essentially two ways to um, edit the singing. One is kind of just an easy short way and one's a more detailed note by note way. I'll go through both but I'll start with the easy way as some may call it and it consists of these three knobs right up here. What the center knob does is it snaps the detected pitch to the nearest semitone or the nearest note so it kind of um, just corrects the pitch to the nearest semitone I just said that it doesn't matter and I'll show you guys what that does you can see by these um light blue boxes under the, near the notes that's where it detects the nearest semitone is and if there's a great difference then it probably needs to be corrected but it just depends on your recording it might not but for the sake of the tutorial again I use a term I've used before I'll center all the notes to show you what it does so here's what it sounds like I'm singing for the tutorial not a whole lot of difference. It's not exactly the most detectable thing, but it does make a difference when you try and get the exact pitch. Moving on, this next knob, Variation, controls the pitch modulation. And that's this red line within each note is the exact pitch of your voice or of the voice that's singing as you move through the recording. What the variation does is it flattens that out to get make the the voice the exact pitch that this bar is set to. And when you do that it can sound a little robotic or unnatural. But in lots of electronic music they do that anyway, so it just depends on how you want it. Here's what it sounds like now. I'm singing for the tutorial. So it's got all the pitches exactly. And um, this next knob, transition, also has to do with the pitch. It has to, it smooths the pitch from note to note to make it sound more human. When you turn it down, it gives the recording a bit of an auto tune I'm singing effect. for the tutorial. I'm Hear singing that? for the tutorial. Sounds like auto tune. Most of the time, unless you want an auto tune effect, you won't gonna want that up. But once you've corrected the pitches, or m more um, more like correcting the modulation, you can adjust the note to the pitch you like. So if you want it to a certain uh, scale, 
you can move these nodes up and down to what you want it to be. And I'm not choosing anything anything specific here. I'm just showing you guys. I'm singing for the tutorial. And so that that's a very useful feature. I'm singing for the tutorial. Anyway, so that's the easy and quick method. Now, I'll load up New Tune again. And show you guys the more detailed method. So, New Tone essentially has two modes. There's the basic editing mode, and then there's advanced edit. And when you click on that, you can see there's these controls for each note. And these do everything these knobs up here do, except in more detail, and you can f uh, refine your pitch to exactly the way you want it. And I'll show you for this note right here. I'm seeing. It's a no. That I'm gonna use a different one. Never mind. So here's the the variation, just like that knob. As you can see, it'll flatten out the pitch. And what these on the bottom here, on the sides of variation, those are the transition controls, except you can adjust it from you know, each end of the note. If you look here, if I adjust the transition in, I can ramp up or ramp down the pitch. What this slider does is it adjusts how much of the note you can control. If you put it all the way, it's nothing. It's just like if you turn this knob all the way down. Then the same for this. You can ramp up or ramp down the pitch. There's actually not a pitch line right there because my voice got quiet. Anyway, now up here there's the volume. And you can adjust the overall volume by um, using this little control here. Or you can do the volume in and volume out of the note. So if, let's say, I think I my uh, voice got too quiet at the end of the note, I'll just ramp up the volume on going out. For the and that just helps bring it out a little bit more. And um, this is the, what you do when you control the notes in the basic editing mode. You can adjust the exact pitch. But if you hold down the alt key, you can have there's no have it so that there's no snap at all. And you can get it to exactly what you want it to be at. Seeing in full And um there's also a format shift control and basically what this does is it kind of modifies what the calculated voice box size of the singer is. So if I turn this down, I'm singing for you can hear that it got really deep right there. Or you can turn it up. So that's something to play around with. And there's one last control on the, uh, I think this might be in basic editing too, but you can adjust the note timing. So if you want to, say, line it up exactly with the steps and the measure, you can do that. Just like this. I'm seeing for the and that's just good for evening out the um the duration of each vocal note. 
But anyway, so there's just a quick summary of how Newtone works. It's a very effective software. I highly recommend it. And, um, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.